Hey girls, it's Monday here on Bunch of Bamps, and this video might be a little long because it's me, <laughs> let's be honest, but this week's theme is kind of long, which of course is because of me, because I picked it, and you guys just know me, so, um, yes, I'm just going to jump straight into it, and this week's theme is called Current Favorites Week, basically we have a bunch of different categories, and you name your favorite category, your favorite for that category, um, I'm just going to jump straight in, because it's for me is going to be super long. So first is your current favorite makeup item. And mine is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. It looks like this by MAC, obviously. Um, it's just like a powder that you put on and it just evens out your skin tone and mattifies your face if you have oily skin. And it actually gives you like a little bit of coverage. This is so worth the money. It's like my favorite makeup product I've ever owned in my entire life. But I, and then I have another fa favorite makeup item, a second one, and this is the Milani HD lip color. It looks like this. I've never seen Milani. I've heard a lot of beauty gurus talk about it here on YouTube, but um, I never found one until I moved to Greeley. Oh, oh, whatever. Until I moved to school. So, um, yeah, it's really pretty, and it smells like watermelon, and I want to eat it, which is bad, but whatever. Next is favorite TV show. Um, mine is Parenthood. It's on Netflix right now. It's also on TV as well, but I'm currently watching it on Netflix. I'm on season two. It's seriously one of the best shows I've ever watched in my entire life. Um, it can make you laugh and make you cry at the same time, and I haven't met one person who hasn't liked that show yet, so if you have a Netflix, especially go check it out. Um, next is favorite movie. Um, I have two, of course. I'm shocked. I mean, really, let's think about this. I always have more than one. First is Clues. Um, I just got it on DVD a couple months ago, which was super exciting, and I've watched it nine times already. I love this movie. It is so freaking funny. Um, Tim Curry, who plays the butler, is genius in this movie, and I like it because it has three different alternate endings. I just this movie's a classic, and everybody needs to see this movie. If you haven't, I don't think I can be your friend anymore. Um, and my second favorite movie is Scream. Um, this is a great movie. Um, it's a it's a horror film. It's a scary movie, but it really isn't that scary. Um, it actually has some humor in it, which I think is awesome. Um, I can't think of like anything bad about this movie. It's just so so, so good. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. It's not scary, I promise. But I quote this movie all the time with my roommate. Next is theater show. So, that just fell. That made me sad. Clue just fell behind my desk. Anyways, um, favorite straight play, so theater wise, um, figments of course, our senior year show. I miss that cast. I miss that show. And I really wish that play was more, like, well-known. Um, because it's hysterical. Um, and then musical, Spring Awakening. I catch myself listening to that soundtrack all the time. It, once, at least one song works its way into every playlist I make. Like, I love that show. And especially the music from that show is stuff where I keep looking at myself. I need to focus on the camera and you guys. Um, next is favorite song. I have three, of course. Um, first is I Need a Hero by Ella Mae Bowen. It's in the new, um, uh, Footloose movie, the new soundtrack. It's also in the original, but it was sung by a different person, and I really like the, the new version. Um, then is Whiskey by Jenna Kramer, which is another kind of sad, whiny country song. <laughs> and then the third one is um, Super Bass by Nicki Minaj, but it is the acoustic cover by a guy named Tyler Ward. It's beautiful. Um, next is a favorite YouTube video. Mine is Marcel the Shell with shoes on. If you have not seen that video, guys, please go watch it. I'll have a link it in the down bar. It's hysterical. Me and my roommates quote that all the time. It's so funny. I love that video. So yes, please go watch it. Um, then the next one is a random item. I have two. The first is this sticker right here. Um, it's just it's a zombie, and he's biting the other zombie. He says, nom nom. 
it's not that awesome. It's not that creative or anything. I just really like this sticker. I just don't know where to put it yet. But I really like it. Badash. And the next f favorite random item is I think my current, my favorite thing of, of all time right now. And it is this little red composition notebook right here. Um, as you guys know, I don't throw away my movie tickets. I keep them. I love to keep them. And I usually keep them in my wallet and it's, they become a stack like this big. So I got a journal and I put them in there starting from the back um, to the front. So it'll go from forwards backwards with the most, this is the oldest. So it's like this one right here, which is super faded and hard to see. That's the Midnight Release of Twilight. So that's where it starts. I'm missing a couple here and there, but it goes through throughout high school, like there's Toy Story 3, we saw on Myrtle Beach, Jesse. Um, it goes through senior year, of course, and then it ends up where I am now, which is in college, which is the last one I saw with the So, I love this. It's my prized possession right now, just because it's something really personal for me, and I'm just really glad I finally, like, put them in something so they're not just in a pile in my wallet. Next is favorite item of clothing, and it is this sweater right here. I've had this big gray sweater forever. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. I got it at Forever 21 last year. It's just super comfortable and like like a knit. It's beautiful, and I love it, and it keeps me warm. I wear it like all the time. And then next is favorite accessories. I'm wearing them right now. They are my earrings. I'll show you over here. First, there are these little hearts right here. Um, I got them at Claire's. I really love these little guys right here. They're really big and sparkly hearts. And then I have this guy right here, which is probably new to you guys. You've probably never seen me wear this before. It's not a real piercing. It's just a little, um, it's not like a cuff type thing that you just put. And I, you can wear it up here, but I don't like the way it looks. So I wear it right here, and I really like it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I like it. <laughs> Um, next is a favorite book. This never changes for me. I don't think it ever will. I haven't read anything yet to surpass it. And that is 19 Minutes by Jodi Picoult. However, mine, you probably can't, you can kind of tell, got really, got, um, rained on. Um, I have a hole. I have a leak in my ceiling, like right here by my window. So when the snow has been melting off of my roof, the water drips down into my room, and it got on my books because my books were sitting on my window seal. And I'm super pressed, and I'm not happy, and I'm going to have to go buy another version just because this one's all torn up. I mean, I wanted a new one anyways because this one's been pretty torn up, but yeah. all of us have read 19 minutes, so any of our viewers who might be watching, go buy this book. It's heartbreaking, it's amazing, and I love it. Favorite scent. This is kind of random. Um, this I meant like favorite scent, favorite smell. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, does that make sense to you guys? But mine is this guy right here. This is a wallflower. You get them at um, Bed Bath, Bath and Body Works, and they go into these little things that look really well and they make your room smell really good. My favorite one right now is this. It's called Pumpkin Caramel Latte. I know it sounds like it probably smells really gross, but it's so sweet. And so fall smelling. I love it. Next time you go into Bath and Body Works, please smell this. It smells so good. Next is favorite candy. Um, my current favorite candy is candy corn. I love candy corn. This is like, I this is like what I ate in a week, which is in a lot. But I love candy corn so much. I think it's delicious. I eat it year round. Favorite food. This is weird, I know, but uh, chicken fried steak. It's delicious at my school. Um, it's delicious anywhere. I just really have been craving chicken fried steak. As well as these little um, Keebler Club and Cheddar crackers. They're crackers with cheese. I eat these like it's freaking crack cocaine. I have like nine of these a day, I swear. Uh, the next question is favorite website. Um, it is a website called wanalo.com and I will link it in the down bar down there it will be. Um, basically, um, it's a website that finds like unique products, like unique clothing items. We have everything. Um, and it basically takes you to all these different websites. And I, don't, I can't really explain it. You guys have to go check it out. It's so cool. I definitely think Jesse, especially, I think you will like this website. And last is favorite game, which this is going to shock you guys, is Clue. 
Um, I just got this a couple weeks ago. This is a pack from um, Target. It's like a family game night um, PC game. Clue right there. I play this all the time. I love Clue. So this is what I play in between classes or when I'm done studying. And then, so yes, that was kind of long. I apologize. <laughs> Ten minutes. Holy crap. I'm sorry. Real quick, what I did this week that made me bamf is I got a new phone. Um, I didn't really do this. Um, my brother did this for me because um, I didn't tell my family that my phone wasn't working because I always get crap and I always get blamed for it when since it wasn't my fault. My brother knew that the phone that I, my old phone, people had been coming in and complaining about similar issues that I was having, so it wasn't just me. So they surprised me and got me a new one. It just looks like this. I'm not going to do my password, but, um, yeah, so it looks like that, and I really like it. That's basically all I did this week that made me a bam. I hope you guys have an awesome week. Ja I'm going to say Jasmine will see you tomorrow. Reminiscent on the old times. No. Swinger, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.